everyone. How are you today? I am Heather McDaniel. I am a Cincy Independent Consultant and I just wanted to talk real quick a like quick little overview kind of about my story with Cincy. Um, I am someone that I came across Cincy in it was 2011. My mother was having a party. I had heard about it actually way before then. Everyone was having all kinds of parties. Everyone was signing up with Cincy. I had done a couple of different direct sales. Didn't really do good for me. So, you know, I was kind of over that whole thing. And I noticed it was the big hype. I'm actually kind of someone that I don't like following what a trend is, and so if it's something that that's the trend, I'm going the other way. So back, I think it was like about 2009, I want to say maybe 2010, yeah, since he was a real big trend. Everyone was talking about it, and yeah, I admit it was a great thing. It was great because it was safe, you know, um, better to not breathe in that soot that typical candles can do and all that whatnot. And plus, you know, candles are dangerous, but I wasn't so worried about that. Um, I, I love my candles. My husband loved candles. We always had to have the fresh scent going on, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't always worried about what's safe, what's not safe. I just, you know, I did what I liked and I went to a party, like I said, for my mother, and I had a lot of fun, and when I found out how safe they were, and um, I ended up taking home some samples. She gave me her testers uh, to take home to my husband so we could go through them, and we were going through all the different samples. There were so many. Um, I want to say there were like 65 or something at the time so it was a little overwhelming going through them that we thought but it was really cool the whole thing that there were different scents for us all to kind of smell and we could pick and choose on which ones we liked and didn't like and then when I was looking at everything that I wanted because I started getting more and more interested in it with my husband getting interested in it I was like okay you know maybe this is cool I, I think I do like this and I had small kids I had um, pets and I lived in a trailer so, you know, those things light up like a matchbox. So, I wanted to make sure that I was being safe all of a sudden. And, you know, my husband was like, all right. You know, we had left the candles on a couple of times when we left. And was like, okay, no. We can't do this anymore. We're going to set fire to something. We're, we're just too dangerous for this. And so, all those options kind of got me all interested in it. So, when I seen how much everything I wanted to purchase was, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy a kit because I know I'm going to need more scents in the future. So I'm going to want to order more. I might as well make the money off myself. You know, it was, you know, just a little bit of money. Back then it was only $150 to have a party uh, versus now it's the $500. But, you know, um, I was like, okay, well, I can do this. Like every, you had to have it, I think every two months then versus now it's like every, uh, every four months. But I was like, all right, so I can do this and I can make the money off of it. I had a full-time job. I did not need anything else. I was working in a pharmacy. I, I made good money. So I wasn't worried about any of that what night as far as making money. I just was like, okay, this is going to be kind of cool. This will be fun. It was a hobby, I guess I should say, if that if that, <laughs> I would say. And so I got the kit. I was all interested. Um, oh my God. So now we're at 2020. Now, truthfully, there were a couple times where I just was like, okay, I'm, I'm not interested in it. I'm going to stop doing that. Like when Walmart started having their stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get that. So I, I'm not doing that anymore. I tried that. There is a reason why things are different. Like if you didn't know, since these warmers are um, have a lifetime guarantee on their electronics of it. So if the electricity part, you know, goes out on your warmer, they'll replace that. You break the warmer, 
of course, they're not going to replace that. Yeah, Walmart doesn't do that. The Walmart scents, I was going through them so fast because I leave my warmers on non-stop. I do not like to turn my warmers off. I leave them on non-stop. And so I just was like, no, I've got to do this again. Thank goodness you get to reinstate for free with Cincy. So I got to reinstate. And um, I just like realized that I don't want to do without Cincy. I have tried not to several times. I have even moved. I lived in the same state my whole life. And so three years now living in North Carolina versus Missouri, it was a big transition for me. And so that was another time I thought, okay, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to rebuild my business. I'm just, I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to, you know, my kids are older. I'm not doing all that. Again, I could not do without the Cincy between the fact that I needed things and then I had friends that were too used to me selling Cincy so they just kept calling me and they were like, okay, come on, I, I need something. I'm like, okay, fine, we'll, we'll, we'll put a party in, I guess, and I guess we'll get something. So, reinstated and out of the blue, grew my business again. So, um, it does take a little bit of work. I'm not going to lie. It's not eating bonbons all day if you want to do this full time. Because now I do it full time. I absolutely love it because I am a little bit of a workaholic. So, I work pretty hard. And I, I love it. I bought my kit for $99 and I would do it again. I would not drop off. That I would change. Um, but I would do it again. I, I would change a lot of things, and I probably wouldn't do it so much as a hobby. I probably would have done it full-time um, and done my full-time job full-time and just had both going full gear if I were to do it all over again. I wish I would have realized what kind of opportunity I had when I was doing it instead of just playing with it but I mean it is that's why it's so cool because it is your business and it is your opportunity to do whatever you want with it and so I'm really excited though that now during the month of May so I hope you're watching this in the month of May um it is only twenty dollars to start your Cincy business like how cool is that so I think it's a really awesome opportunity whether you want to see if this is just you know, a hobby for you, or if you're someone that unfortunately going through this whole pandemic, that you either don't have the same hours, or you don't have a job, and so you're trying to figure out what to do right now, that this is a great $20 investment to get started on something that could be something that, you know, you end up doing for the rest of your life. So, I love it. I I find that it's worth it totally, and I just want to say, you know, reach out to me if you have any questions, let me know, and I would be more than happy to talk to you about it. This is really cool. Um, since he does a lot of training that they do as a corporate, whether it's on, like, YouTube, whether it's just videos that they post on our workstation, or them traveling around to where we can go do stuff um, that way. That There's many different ways. And it all just kind of depends on what you want as to what you do. Because nothing's required. It's your business. So it's really awesome opportunity. I have had a lot of fun with it. And I'm like, hey, try it. What do you have to lose? So, I hope you all have a great day. Um, make sure to go check out my website, heathermcdaniel.cincy.us. And like and, uh, like and subscribe so you can see, you know, kind of some of the Cincy stuff that I post out there if you've never seen it. So, you have a great day and take care.